Hello, I'm Miss Ann, and I'm so happy to be reading to you from here at Westminster Woods. I have 12 grandchildren that I wish I could read to, but they're far away. So I'm so happy to come and share books with you and have fun. They call me Purple Grandma. Can you guess why? Yep, pretty obvious. <laughs> and actually this book inside is purple. So I knew this one was for us. It's called, I'm Still Here in the Bathtub. And it's not just a book that's a story. It's a book full of silly songs. So I hope you enjoy them as much as I do. And it is written by Alan Katz and illustrated, the pictures are by David Catro. And it's about a little boy or girl who probably does some of the things that you like to do. So the first song is called, I'm Still Here in the Bathtub. And it's to the tune of Take Me Out to the Ball Game, which you may not know, but your teachers and your parents will know. And it's a fun story about a little kid who has been in the bathtub quite some time. And so there's food, there's books, there's rubber duckies and all kinds of things to have fun in the bathtub. And maybe you like that place too. In this song, there are a couple of words that might be new to you. One is marooned. And that means to be left alone, stranded, like on an island, all by yourself. And so when you get to the word marooned on an island, you'll know what I'm singing about. Also, maybe you've had prunes, maybe not. Us old folks like prunes, and they are plums that have been dehydrated, the water has been taken out of, and they wrinkle up kind of like us old people. So that will be into this song, so listen carefully. Okay. I'm still here in the bathtub. I'm so clean that I squeak. Mom says it's good to relax and soak, but it's been two days and that is no joke. Oh, this bathtub is like an island on which I have been marooned. I am rink, rink, wrinkled so much you could call me a prune. I'm still here in this bathtub. My washcloth is just shreds. Soap is all gone and sh there's no shampoo. Please hand me a Thing, or just send a canoe. I know cleanliness is important and I don't mean to complain. If I can't get out of this tub, I'll go down the drain. I'm still here in this bathtub. Now it feels like a week. How many times do I have to rinse? I've scrubbed away all my fingerprints. Oh, I think somebody is coming. Yes, there's a knock on the door. Hello, mom, please get me out. I can't take a minute more. <laughs> the next one, the little kid has this beautiful dog and it's called an Irish setter. And they're usually red. And you can see in the picture, hopefully there's an itchy sweater you're gonna hear about. There's a hat with flaps. That means a piece that comes down and covers your ears for when it's really, really cold. And also these are the new shoes that end up on the Irish setter, if you can imagine. This is to the tune of B-I-N-G-O. I got a sweater made of wool. It's hot and boy, it's itchy. I-T-C-H-Y, gee, I want to cry. Why'd my parents buy an itchy, itchy sweater? I got a hat with crazy flaps that cover up my eardrums. No way can I hear, no one's voice is clear. It's so bad, I fear I never will hear better. 
I got some shoes with shiny soles. They're cute, but oh, they're squeaky. S Q U E K E K. Folks can't hear me speak. I would like to sneak them on our Irish setter. So wool comes from sheep. And a lot of times it's itchy and it's very, very warm. So that's probably why they bought him the sweater, but he wasn't very happy about it. The next song, I'm a menace. Now, I don't know if you know the word menace. You might've seen a cartoon called Dennis the Menace. And a menace is a person that sometimes gets into a lot of trouble maybe not even trying to, it just kind of happens to him. And so maybe sometimes that has happened to you. And so this is about a little boy who has found himself a menace. I'm a menace, I play tennis in my house, in my room. I didn't know a racket could hit a lamp and crack it. I am doomed in my room. I was naughty, did karate. I showed Ben in my den. Thanks to all my chopping, daddy's TV shopping. I didn't listen, ours got broken. Life is rocky, I played hockey against Clyde while inside. Scored! but broke a window. Now I feel the wind blow here inside. I've got to hide. Perhaps sometimes you thought you were just having fun and it didn't end up so well. That's what happened to this little miss. Now, this is all about being at school and in the pool and it's called bad advice. Now, it's good to take good advice from people and that will help you stay out of trouble and do some good things. But sometimes you might get some bad advice when they tell you to do something you shouldn't. So you have to think carefully and don't take bad advice. And that's the name of this song, Bad Advice. And it's to the tomb of three blind mice. Bad advice, bad advice, that's what I gave to my friend Dave. Told him to shampoo with dirt. In gym class, wear a hula skirt. Eat broccoli for dessert. That's bad advice. Bad advice. Bad advice. Bad advice. It was fun to say to my friend Ray. The teacher found out I'm the fool who said to throw fish in the pool. If you don't want to stay after school, take my advice. Don't take bad advice. So be careful who you listen to. And the last one my sister fights with me. So you can see there's two girls that share a room and a lot of times kids don't get along and that's kind of normal. But this is about two sisters that try to work it out, which is what we should do. It's called My Sister Fights With Me and it's to the tune of My Country Tis Of Thee, which you should know probably. My sister fights with me. We always disagree, but it's her fault. My, she breaks my favorite stuff. She treats me mean and rough. I say I've had enough and mom yells halt. So we act like we're friends. But soon that niceness ends. She's a mean miss. Taking things from my drawers, making me do her chores. And worst of all, she snores. Anyone want my sis? So remember, 
your brothers and sisters are family and that means they're your friends. And so we need to support each other and be kind. Even when we get on each other's nerves and are might be a little mean. Remember, we need each other. I hope you enjoyed these silly songs.